Welcome back. I'm here with Andrew Bemis and Jess Conger. They're amateur filmmakers from New Hampshire. Their forthcoming film, most likely, is about a horse that can travel back in time. Now, Andrew, tell me about this film. Um, I'm sorry, that's not actually correct. Uh, Jess, what's it like working with a horse? I, I wouldn't know. Oh, because you haven't made the, mo the movie yet. So, Andrew, I understand you're trying to raise money for this film through Kickstarter? Right, yes. Uh, we are trying to raise the money through Kickstarter. Uh, the money we raise there uh, will help to pay cast and crew for their time, as well as uh, going towards things like props and costumes. Yeah, and horses are very expensive. Now, tell me a little bit about the film. It's, uh, it's not a film about a horse, actually, I'm afraid. Mm. It's a comedy about a group of friends. Um, it, it revolves around a wedding. Uh, the bride and groom are a very non-traditional couple, uh, so they decide to just have a wedding where they invite their closest friends to a house in the country that is owned by the groom's family. Mm. And so it's just this, you know, sort of uh, comedy about lifelong friends unfolding over the course of a weekend. Okay. Don't, I mean, is the house haunted or anything? Or, I mean, what's, why would I want to watch that? Well, okay. Um, you know, I think it's oh, interesting well, to... Is, um, I saw your last film, Blacklight, which was a little racy. Is this film going to be on the same level? Uh, well, no, the tone is different. Um, you know, Blacklight was a very intimate romance uh, between two women and... And their horse. There were no horses in Blacklight. Are you sure? Yes, I was there. Anyway, so it's, uh, you know, this movie is, is more of a light comedy. Uh, the tone is different. Uh, there's certainly some adult humor and... Uh, Adventure. Some... Sure. Back in time. No. No. Did you have, did you... Are you familiar with the movie that we're making? Did you read the packet we sent you? <laughs> uh... Now, Jess, I understand you're, uh, you've been acting for quite some time now. Yes. I uh, started in eighth grade, and now I'm 31, so it's been a long, long time. I'm currently in a production of The Scarlet Pimpernel uh, as a radio play in Boston. Now that has a horse in it, I'm sure. It has a Foley team. It's, it's a radio play, so we make all the sound effects with you know people and coconuts. So there's no real horses. So it's just... It's just a lie. It's creative workarounds to, you know, the problem of having a horse in a studio. Can't always get what you want. Maybe it would be helpful if I, you know, talked a little bit about why people... Okay. All right. All right. Well, uh, tell me about Blacklight, the last movie. Okay. Without a horse in it. Right, it's a... Uh... Oh, I've seen that. You're... Yes? Are you going to get naked in this next movie? No. Hey, that's... Come on. No. Can you get naked right now? No. Dude, come on. No. I don't know. I'm really sorry. I didn't know that Does this it, was going to... I gonna... don't even care. <sighs> I don't understand what your problem is. 